session kicks off this week. One of the first orders of business could put some extra cash back in your pocket. Yeah, the state has extra money, and according to Colorado law, taxpayers get that money back. KRD News Channel 13's Emily Allen reports on the impact this could have on your wallet. Emily. Jonathan and Rana, we've had the Taxpayers' Bill of Rights in our Constitution for more than two decades. Taxpayers have gotten money back six times since it went into effect, and this year you could get extra change in your pocket. Colorado has extra cash. The total, $137 million. Economist Fred Crowley says this is great news. We have a surplus as a reflection of the economy is really doing very well. In the 1990s, voters approved the Taxpayers' Bill of Rights, or TABOR. It means extra money goes back to taxpayers. It shrinks the size of government, which is the intent of the Taxpayers' Bill of Rights. Crowley says it's hard to predict how much money you could get back. In fiscal year 2004 to 2005, taxpayers got $15 back. From 1999 to 2000, they got almost $300 back. Crowley says lawmakers are split. Democrats may ask voters to keep the money for state projects, but Republicans won't. And they will advocate refund the money. Uh, Democrats tend to be more socially driven and want to spend that money towards social objectives. We ask taxpayers what they want. Uh, the money will go a lot farther if we just apply it towards, you know, infrastructure projects or parks or something like that, you know, instead of giving everybody $15. Taxes go to help with the structures that we have and help to support people, really, and so I don't need that 20 bucks. Others want the money. I think it's our money and we paid it out, so we should get it back. So I'd rather just have the taxes back. I think they have uh, enough money and it uh, seems like they waste some of it, so I'd just like them to give it to me so I can waste my own money. One thing is clear there are millions up for grabs. The question is who gets to spend it? Now, if lawmakers do want to keep this money, people would have to vote to let them keep it. In the Newsplex, Emily Allen Cardio, News Channel 13. All right, thank you, Emily. Well, a scary scene in a Colorado.